All right, so one of the cool things about Camtasia 2022 is that you can generate a cursor path for literally any piece of media on your timeline. So let's take a look at how we do this. So in this case, I've got this screenshot that I took with Snagit. It's just a screenshot, just a pasted image sitting here in my library. And I want to generate a cursor path so that I can animate it around. Let's go ahead and go over to the visual effects bin. I can also get to this through the cursor effects bin. But inside the visual effects bin, you're gonna see the cursor path or whatever we end up naming it. And you just drop it onto your image. And just like that, we've created uh, a path for you that you can then go ahead and animate. I'll just quickly scale it up. You can see for convenience, we give you one motion segment right here and you can go ahead and add more. You can edit to your heart's content. All right, let's take a look at adding this to a video. So in this particular case right here, this is a piece of footage that I've got. Live action footage is a screen recording taken off an iPad. And so it has no cursor metadata associated with it. So we need to add an effect to, to get a cursor path. So we'll go over, grab our cursor path effect, drop it on here. And again, you see the similar pattern here. Let's crank up the scale of that, that guy so we can see him. Again, we've added a cursor path. We can animate it, do all the things on video. Now, just to prove to you that this, there's nothing unique about screen recordings that you can do this with, here's, here's a piece of footage, uh, you know, live action, mirrorless camera footage, and we'll go ahead and add a cursor path to it. Maybe you want to add a nice uh, a pause button and a click effect on this kind of thing. And so here, here you go. You can see we've got our path added to it, and uh, I'll scale that cursor up so we can see, see that guy and it's all its glory. Just like that, I've added this path here that I can then animate around. Now, a really cool thing is that uh, you can add paths literally to, to really anything. Now, there's some exceptions in the annotations bin. You can't add cursor paths to these, but there's a really clever, cool workaround. So let's take a look at this. So I've got a group on the timeline, and a group can have any sort of media, including anything from the annotations bin. In this case, it's just a bunch of shapes uh, set up as a quick preview UI uh, element that I can add media to. And I want to add a cursor path to it. So I can, again, I'm going to go back to this cursor path effect, and I'm going to choose to add a cursor path to it. And you can see it's added a path to that group. Let's scale that cursor up so you can see it. Now you can see the, the there's some clipping that's associated with the size of the group, right? And really it's the size of the media. It doesn't have anything to do with the group. A way to work around this is to resize your group. And uh, let's see, let's resize it to visible size, of canvas size. And that will alter the position of things now because we've just changed our, our coordinate space for all these things. But again, now I can have the, the cursor come from outside the bounds here. Maybe swoop down in. in. Let's uh, scrub back and forth and check that out. Yep, just like that. That's really slick. And just to show you another thing, here is an annotation straight from the annotations bin. Actually, you know, I had this favorited and pulled it right from here typed in a little text. It's just to, you know, call out what Camtasia thinks of as call outs. And I'm going to do that same group hack right here. So I'm going to go ahead and group it. And I'm actually going to resize this to canvas size first. So we don't get any weirdness with the cursor shifting around. And then I'm going to drag, drag my cursor path effect onto here. And you can see just like that, I've got this nice cursor path drop down on here that I can begin to position and animate. So I can have this cursor come in and, and settle. Maybe I want it to end up right, right about here, come in from the bottom. So let's take a look at that. Yep, just like that. So all kinds of creative possibilities really unlocks things, takes away a lot of the tedious steps that are necessary to start doing animating with, with cursor related things.